somehow with 1960s technology, with one millionth the computing power of a cell phone, we can drive cars and play golf on the moon, but 55 years better technology, we can only have mannequins orbit the moon. And then if you want to show the next clip, we show one of the reasons. You ask for the evidence. There's just a couple of more evidences as to why they did indeed fake the moon landing. We have an engineer from NASA saying what most people don't know. If you want to show this still picture, Steve, it's called radiation belts down there. Is this the Gus Grissom guy? No, that's, okay. that's, a, that's another matter which we can get into as okay. to why. Uh, it's the radiation belts picture. It's on the most recent the email. The Van Allen. Yeah, it's the most recent Van email Van Allen was also you. one of the guys on set that day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he, he was. So if the, It was named the, after him? Uh, well, the Van Allen radiation belts were named after him. So go to Moon Technology Not Invented Yet, okay? So basically, people don't know, but surrounding the Earth, if you want to pause it there, we'll, we'll go. And if mm -hmm. you, you can show that picture if you can find it there in the six attachments, radiation belt. Most people don't know this, but high above the earth, starting at about a thousand miles up, mm -hmm. is a radiation field that's yes. 30,000 miles thick, called the Van Allen radiation belt. You'd have to go through it to reach the moon, and you have right. to go through it on the way back as well. Every space mission has been well below the radiation, generally about 750 miles below the radiation, except going to the moon. You'd have to go through it. You see, here's a NASA engineer saying that the radiation is dangerous, meaning lethal to people. And then he says, we must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space, mm -hmm. meaning the technology necessary to go through the radiation and survive has not been invented yet. Go ahead and play the clip. Oh, there's an image, if you want to show it, of the radiation belt. You see, every manned mission has been below it except going to the moon. You'd have to go through it. There's been no astronauts no. that have been anywhere near that. No, except going to the moon. You'd have to go through it to the moon and through it on the way back. And the clip we're about to see is NASA's own engineer saying the technology necessary to go to the moon and back through the radiation has not been invented yet. We must solve these challenges before... We send people through this region of space, meaning the challenges of radiation protection have not been invented yet. Go ahead and play the clip. Smith and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous, radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We won't have astronauts inside. We won't have astronauts inside. We won't have astronauts inside. So there you go. Now you know why there's mannequins orbiting the moon. Somehow, with 1960s technology, with one millionth the computing power of a cell phone, we can drive cars and play golf on the moon. But 55 years better technology we can only have mannequins orbit the moon. The guy just said we must solve these radiation challenges before we send people through this region of space, meaning the technology to go through the radiation and back has not been invented yet. So the Van Allen radiation belts are like big donuts that go around, uh, around like the equator of the moon. They go pretty high and they go pretty low, but there's holes in the top and bottom, right? Some people speculate that the Apollo missions could have slingshotted, they took off from Florida and could have slingshotted themselves around a little bit north or a little bit south and gone like through the top or through the bottom of it. Well, I love the people who say that because they're, yeah, admi they're, they're admitting that the radiation belts are deadly, which they are. According to NASA's own flight log, they went straight through the radiation belt at the equator. Oh, really? They didn't have enough fuel to zigzag. And the only way, oh, okay. the only way to go through them... Uh, would be to launch from the North or South Pole. But seeing how the space shuttle 
launched at 38 degrees and blew up, launching at the North to South Pole would be too cold. Plus, you wouldn't have the capability well, of uh, the personnel surviving there. So according to their own press release, they, they didn't have enough fuel to, to go all the way around to the north no, or the not south. not at all. And they didn't have the uh, ability to do that. And they never claimed to have done that. And also another interesting thing is to get through that radiation belt, they would have, have to they would have had to have a lot of protection around that capsule they were in right they would have had to have lead maybe or or, th or about three feet of water is the latest idea okay this is why i mean they said in 2014 so they sorry to interrupt but they yeah. but they they've sent animals through there right to test it uh that i don't know uh they have covered up some information about that what they did do is send two geiger counters into the radiation around right. the time of this guy's report. They exploded. So, so well, <laughs> almost. I, I called up NASA and I said, hey, first let me talk to this guy. They said, well, he misspoke. Uh, we don't allow him to talk to reporters anymore. And then I said, well, you sent up probes directly into the radiation belt and back with two Geiger counters. Can mm -hmm. I please have those Geiger counter readings? They said, I cannot have them. It's a military secret. Mm. So the temperature of the sun isn't a military secret. It's just nature. And when they sent probes to Jupiter to find out how much, you know, let's say uh, helium is in the atmosphere, it's not a military secret. Why would the amount of radiation surrounding the Earth be a military secret? Look at this. Because it proves that they cannot go to the moon. Yes. Animals have been sent through the Van Allen, ra Van Allen radiation belts. Laika, a dog, was the first animal in space aboard Sputnik 2 but her mission was intended for 10 days and she only survived for two days due to the spacecraft overheating. However, no animals were specifically sent to evaluate the effects of radiation on biological organisms before sending astronauts through the Van Allen radiation belts. Instead, NASA designed the Apollo missions to minimize exposure by sending aircraft through the narrowest part of the belts at the poles and ensuring the trajectories avoided the densest regions of the belts. Well, that's uh, them contradicting themselves. It's contradicting the NASA flight logs, you're Yeah, saying. because that's why they launch at Florida to be near the equator. And they claim they use gravitational effect to simply loop around. There, there was no additional fuel to zigzag through the belts. Their own printouts that they gave to the press corps show them going right through the belts. This would and, be an and interesting that, and that's experiment. Why, that's why the guy said the technology to go through them hasn't been invented yet. Mm -hmm. Look at the next article. Go okay. to this article here. It says, article says moon technology cannot, modern technology cannot go to the moon. It talks about the radiation right here. Mm -hmm. What's keeping us from Mars? If you want to bring up that link, okay? So I'll read it here. You can enlarge it if you want. Published in 2009, does that say? Yeah. It says, cosmic rays are so dangerous and so poorly understood that people are unlikely to get to Mars or even back to the moon until better ways are found to protect astronauts, experts said Monday. So right now, today, with 55 years better technology, they do not have the technology to protect astronauts from radiation. Zoom it's, in a little bit, Steve, so I can read that a little bit better. Down below that, I'm just punching so I can see the whole line. Uh, one of the big issues is that they have really cut funding for no, biology no, the, you, issues. You, you want the first part, Cos uh, right after Washington. Cosmic rays are so dangerous and so yep. poorly understood that people are unlikely to go to Mars, to get to Mars, or even back to the moon mm -hmm. until better ways are found to protect astronauts from the radiation. So they're saying right there, the technology does not exist today to send astronauts to the moon. Right. You see, it's right there out what in the open. What does Elon say about this? Well, Elon said the. Uh, Apollo projects are a technological and historical anomaly. <laughs>